What is up, everybody? Today we're going to be discussing the Oklahoma City Thunder and who they should trade for it. This is a part three. Parts one and part two are linked down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I encourage you guys to check out part one and two because they, you know, explain a little bit of my thinking. I'm going to cut this one shorter because I've explained what I feel about the Thunder already. Let's get into it. So, Oklahoma City Thunder. They need a power forward, quite honestly. Now, I know they have some white dude named, like, Andre P something. I know he's balled out in, like, one game already. But, ultimately, at the end of the day, he was a later round pick for a reason. I like the pick by the Thunder at the, anyways, like, in the first place, you know. I feel like it's a good pick for them, a high upside pick. But, ultimately, I still feel like they need a power forward-ish. Maybe a rehabilitation player to an extent. So originally before this, you know, whole idea, or before before I made this video, the idea was that they would trade for Kevin Porter Jr. But that was about a month ago I was going to make that video, and I just never did. So I had to come up with a new guy. And that new guy is Laurie Markkinen of the Chicago Bulls. So, Laurie Markkinen. 2017 class, 7th round pick. Luka Doncic class, uh, he hasn't, you know, showed up to the extent that we thought he would. In his career minutes, he's averaging 30.6 minutes per game, which is pretty good, right? I think, you know, you, we can't say he's not getting a chance to succeed. But he's only averaging 16 points per game with 7 rebounds and 1 assist. So that's obviously not ideal. Granted, the 2021 season, he has taken a step forward. In 30 minutes again, he's averaging 19 points on 50% instead of 43%. So he's improved significantly. But it's just not, you know, at the point that we would want him to be. Okay. And he's injured, you know, fairly often. But when he's actually healthy this season, he's been doing better. Okay. Okay. He is a, you know, stretch four that can shoot well, that can rebound, and it's just, eh, I guess. I mean, he's decent, but he's not amazing, and it is reportedly up to, he is reportedly available for trade, and... I feel like the Thunder should trade for him and try and develop him. The reason for this being they don't have, you know, an established power forward of the future yet. They don't have an established center of the future yet, honestly. I mean, Al Horford, I mean, it's Al Horford, right? He is definitely not the guy of the future. He's an older player right there. So I think that it would be a wise move for them to trade for him, quite honestly. At the very least, you can try and develop him into something see how it would go to maybe maximize an asset I guess ultimately I mean I feel like this would work best with a three way trade maybe where you trade a player such as Trevor Ariza right a guy that I think we can all agree would be a better fit on a contender maybe him George Hill Al Horford probably not because of his hellish contract but George Hill and Trevor Ariza, those are two guys that you can, you know, trade to a contender. Maybe work in a three-way trade because I don't view the Bulls as contenders personally. But I think they need to try and make this happen if at all possible. It'd be a good pickup. In terms of just OKC Thunder in general, they're kind of confusing me, quite honestly. They win some, they lose some. And... It's just interesting to me like they should be tanking right they should in theory be a bad team but the Kings Rockets and Timberwolves are all worse than them right it's just confusing stuff I mean they're tied with the Pelicans and theoretically tied with the Grizzlies I say theoretically because the Grizzlies are, had a bunch of games suspended but Shay Shy however you say I still don't know how to say it can someone please help me down in the comments below but um Gilgis Alexander's balling out right now. Lou Dort, it's just Lou Dort. 
it's just good stuff. So, yeah. Like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below how you would feel about a trade like this. It's, you know, a lower level trade, right? It's not like you're trading for freaking Bradley Beal or anything. But I think Laurie Markman has potential, and it'd be interesting to see him in OKC, where he'd probably not get more minutes, but just different environment, quite honestly. He'd be a good value pickup if he is truly available. And I think OKC should check it out and maybe make an attempt to trade for him. So that's about it. Uh, Y'all like and subscribe, as mentioned before. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this trade. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all around. Peace out, y'all.